Hi, in this video, I will show you some small hints uh, regarding setting up the actions for logged in and non logged in users. So as you know, um, when you create the app, you have three screens, sign up, login and uh, home. I have renamed it to main screen and we have uh, two types of screen, welcome screen, um, where which is default for non logged in users and home screen, which is default for logged in users. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, first, uh, I would like to set up the main screen uh, to be the same for both uh, logged in users and non-logged in users and I'd like to set up uh, it in a way that when user clicks on a button and goes to details screen uh, there will be different uh, transition types so I'm adding a button here uh, and I will uh, call it view details uh, also before adding an action uh, it's a good idea to understand whether user is logged in or not so uh, I will do that by having uh, uh, two text labels. Uh, this one will be welcome uh, logged in user email. And uh, this will be visible only if logged in user email is not equal to empty. So if user email, there is something in the user email uh, variable, then uh, this uh, mm, label will be displayed. And this one will be welcome anonymous. Uh, and I will put uh, this visibility condition uh, to be sometimes visible when logged in user email is equal to empty. And this is the general rule which I will use for uh, distinguishing between logged in and non-logged in user. So, uh, of course, uh, for this button, I'm putting the action of link to details screen and I will use push action. Uh, and this action will happen only if, again, logged in user email is uh, equal to not equal to empty. This will be for logged in user. And for non logged in user, I will link to the same details screen, but I will use, uh, for example, float up action. So uh, I'm not putting the conditional uh, action here because this one will be executed for all logged in user uh, when email is not in equal to empty. So the one left will be obviously executed for all others which are non logged in. And also to manage login and logout, uh, I will put two more buttons here. So this will be log in, and this I will call log out. So uh, the log out button will have an action of uh, user login log out. I don't want to go to any uh, any other screen. And uh, log in button will have an action of uh, linking to a login screen, and you can also sign up uh, on that screen. Uh, and again, uh, these two buttons will be uh, conditionally visible as well. So uh, this one will be visible only if logged in user email is um, equal to empty, and log out will be visible if a log uh, logged in user email is not equal to empty so i don't have any user registered so let's uh, see how it uh, works so when i press preview i will get to a, a main screen so this is home uh, as you can see uh, login button is here uh, let me uh, sign up Uh, okay, as you can see, welcome uh, KUZ MTURU. Uh, and then let's view details. As you can see, this is a push uh, uh, transition. So if I log out and if I press view details, this is float up transition. 
Uh, also, you may ask a question why uh, the label is not visible. It's because uh, actually hidden under the, uh, um, the top uh, bar. So if I move it here for the sake of demo, uh, then you will see welcome anonymous as well. So here's it, welcome anonymous, log in. And this changed to welcome KUZ. So uh, this is the first example. Now uh, the second example I would like to do is, um, for example, I'd like to put like on this details screen and I will add the property to users collection uh, just for the demo. Uh, it will be true false, uh, say like. Uh, and uh, uh, here in the details screen, I will put a, a simple toggle and uh, with a label and call it I like it. So the logic I would like to uh, have here is uh, when user is logged in, uh, it's possible to like this picture. But when user is not logged in, I'd like to direct the uh, user to a login screen so that user should log in before liking it. So uh, first I will toggle logged in user. This toggle will uh, toggle the property logged in user liked. So when the active is, it will be checked and the inactive not liked, it will uh, be unchecked. But uh, also, uh, I will, I'd like to add an additional action anytime a toggle is clicked. So, uh, and this action will be linked to a login screen, but of course this action will not happen every time. It will happen only, as you may guess, uh, when a logged in user email is equal to empty. So, uh, in fact, uh, when a lo non logged in user will try to toggle this toggle, as there is no property to toggle, nothing will change. Uh, so, uh, but uh, the link to login will work and uh, a user will get to a login screen. So, let's preview. Uh, I am anonymous. Let's view the, view the details. If I press I like it, I get to login screen. So when I log in, and you can see view details, I can press I like it or I don't like it. Let me, for example, keep I like it and then let me log out. And if I go to view details screen, as you can see, uh, I like it is unchecked because of course there is no logged in user and then uh, it automatically goes to login screen. If I go back uh, with the browser, this will uh, remain uh, checked, but still any click on the toggle will lead on to the login screen. So, uh, and of course the uh, value of this like or non liked will not be saved. Uh, I hope it was useful. Uh, this was an answer to a question on the forum, so uh, I hope this will be helpful for the topic starter. Thank you.